फ्रेंड्स फाइनली यूनियन बजट 2024 इज आउट व्हाट यूनियन बजट 2024 हैज टू ऑफर टू ईवी इंडस्ट्री व्हाट अबाउट फीम 3 सब्सिडी लेट्स फाइंड आउट इन दिस वीडियो हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आदित्य वेन्यू एंड यू आर वाचिंग इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इंडिया फ्रेंड्स ऑफ फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमण जी हैज प्रेजेंटेड यूनियन बजट 2024 एंड फ्रैंकली स्पीकिंग देयर इज नथिंग मच अलोकेटेड टू ईवी इंडस्ट्री इमर्जिंग ईवी इंडस्ट्री इन दिस यूनियन बजट 2024 देयर इज नो इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द फेम 3 सब्सिडी इन यूनियन बजट बट फेम 3 सब्सिडी वोंट बी कवर्ड इन द यूनियन बजट वी विल गेट टू नो मोर डिटेल्स अबाउट दिस फेम 3 सब्सिडी इन द मिड अगस्त करंटली ईवी इंडस्ट्री हैज ईएमपीएस स्कीम सो दिस ईएमपीएस स्कीम विल बी एप्लीकेबल ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक टू व्हीलर्स and electric three wheelers actually this emps scheme is valid till this july 31st but as of my knowledge central government will extend this emps scheme and they'll work on the fame 3 subsidy and they'll present this fame 3 subsidy in the mid august and as per my knowledge fame 3 subsidy will be applicable from 1st september 2024 so finally fame 3 subsidy is there but it will take some more time it's a bit delay from central government to form all the rules and to allocate some budget for this fame 3 subsidy so fame 3 subsidy is there. and next central government has lowered import taxes on some of the elements which are used to manufacture lithium ion batteries some key elements like lithium cobalt and copper got reduced to import duties previous import duties were close to 10% now the import duties are lowered to 2.5% so due to this the companies who imports these metals from other countries and manufacture lithium ion batteries here in india they'll get these metals at lower cost and end of the day the prices of the evs will get down but 100% of the EV companies currently are importing direct lithium ion cells from other countries so due to this there won't be any difference in the prices of electric vehicles those companies who imports all the raw materials i mean these elements from other countries and manufacture lithium ion batteries here in india then the electric vehicle prices may get down but as of now there won't be any much difference in the prices of the electric vehicles and next central government has allocated 6500 crore rupees to pli scheme currently some ev companies like ola tata and mahindra are part of this pli scheme this pli scheme will provide some benefits to the companies who manufactured ev parts here in india after allocation this 6500 crores to the pli scheme more 80 companies are ready to join this pli scheme so this will result in the low cost of manufacturing the ev components here in india so apart from this there are no information provided on the ev industry in this union budget 2024 ev industry expected the gst raise to come down some funds for the public ev charging infrastructure and some support to the companies who manufacture small parts small EV ev parts here in india and no much funds are allocated to the ev industry in this union budget 2024 so what's your opinion on this please let me know in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe electric vehicles india go green go electric